We're standing here in front of the Attorney General's office building on this Earth Day morning to deliver a petition asking her to investigate Exxon. Just over 46 years ago, Cleveland's Cuyahoga River, polluted from decades of industrial waste and covered with oil, caught on fire. Ten months later, the United States celebrated its first Earth Day. Today we're celebrating the 46th Earth Day. And it seems to be no longer a river, but the whole planet that is catching on fire. We're here, as I said, to submit a petition to Maine Attorney General Janet Mills, asking her to investigate ExxonMobil. Mainers should be proud that Attorney General Janet Mills joined 17 other state attorneys general earlier this year in defending uh, the U.S. EPA's historic clean power plan, the first ever limits on carbon pollution from power plants in the United States. At that time, A.G. Mills wrote, quote, our natural resources are the lifeblood of our state's economy and, and our quality of life. Global climate change demands immediate action and I am committed to using the authority of my office to address the problem in a meaningful way. Uh, we are here today to ask Maine's top law enforcer to use the authority of her office and join the investigation started by the AGs in New York, California, and Massachusetts into charges that for decades ExxonMobil misled its shareholders about the causes and impacts of climate disruption. Mainers are counting on our Attorney General to lead and work on our behalf for justice and to protect our health, our economy, and climate from worsening climate disruption. I brought today with me Maine's tree of life, which is the maple tree. It is a part of Maine's iconography that is threatened by global climate change. And people who are dependent upon this uh, tree for their livelihoods, as well as those of us who savor her sweet sap every spring and throughout the year, are very uh, concerned about the threat of climate change to this um, this species. 46 years ago when the Cuyahoga River burst into flame, I was with the United States Army in the Central Highlands of Vietnam, witnessing firsthand the damage that war can do, not just to human beings, but also to the environment. We want to hold them now to account. We want this organization, this oil corporation, to be held responsible for polluting the earth and joining with the Pentagon, which is the number one polluter on this planet, uh, in abusing our environment. The last person to speak uh, today is Kaylin Wise, a student at Colby College, a climate activist, a member of 350 Maine and 350.org. Citizens have shown an outpouring of support for 350.org's letter demanding a Department of Injustice investigation into claims regarding ExxonMobil's climate change denial activities. With coordinated efforts like this, our dedication to environmental and social justice will fuel our power to demand corporate accountability. As previously mentioned, the Los Angeles Times and Inside Climate have published a series of stories that reveal the breadth of disparity between ExxonMobil's internal knowledge of the causes and severity of climate change and their external active climate denial. These stories are not simply a report about questionable public relations or corporate accountability. Rather, they demonstrate how unethically withholding information and acting against public interest has far-reaching, unaffordable implications. Climate change is occurring at a faster rate than many experts predicted. If we do not hold our corporations, governments, and fellow citizens accountable now for the harm that we humans are doing to our planet, we will lose the opportunity to do so. Exxon has acted against the well-being of humans, entire ecosystems, and the planet as a whole. This is truly an issue of justice. Climate change cannot be ignored so that a few individuals can profit. To continue drilling for fossil fuels while being aware of the damage they cause is to do a disservice to every single organism on this planet. Climate change disproportionately harms those without the political and economic power of corporations like ExxonMobil. 
As a young adult, me and my peers are acutely aware that many of the environmental crises we face today have been inherited. We are also aware that the systems that cause these crises have been inherited alongside them. Notably, we continue to rely on fossil fuels to power our planet, even as we make great leaps in the affordability and accessibility of more sustainable forms of energy. We need to ask ourselves why we continue to believe that a world that is powered by fossil fuels is our best option. And we need to think critically about where we receive these information, this information from. Instead of funding climate change denial campaigns like ExxonMobil has been doing, these corporations should be using their resources to spearhead a just transition to energy accountability. And if they fail to do so, as informed citizens, we need to demand that they um, give us answers and justice. By supporting an investigation into Exxon's activities and awareness of climate change, we send the message that corporations cannot benefit at our expense. This has been four decades in the making. Let's demand an investigation to account for any injustices we have suffered and will suffer in the future as a result of Exxon's misconduct. Well, we uploaded this petition on the 350 Maine's website about two weeks ago. And in that time, over 450 concerned Maine citizens have signed it. We're going to end this right now by showing a sort of a graphic of what that looks like. We've taped uh, a printout of the petitions, one to another. And it is these we'll shortly be delivering to the Attorney General. We want to thank all those for signing. We invite others to add their names to the call. From 350 Maine, yeah. and Glenn Brandt from Sierra Club, Maine. Hi, how are you? And uh, Michelle Fournier from 350 Maine, and two students, Colby student uh, Kaylin Wise and Sam Maines, a middle school student. Uh, we've just been outside uh, kind of asking the world uh, to join on with the request to Janet Mills to uh, investigate Exxon. And so we're really here to thank her and deliver these petitions. Thank her for her. Good? Okay, well, thank you very much.